them do this to you. Prey, the latest game from Arcane and Bethesda, takes only its name from the 2006 original and reimagines the series. It does a lot, and is best described as an action-adventure game with some RPG elements disguised in an FPS costume. It takes influence from and has been compared to series such as System Shock, Bioshock, Deus Ex, and Dishonored. While those comparisons are undoubtedly welcome, it would be a disservice to claim that Prey is simply a combination of all those games. Rather, Prey has taken some elements utilized in other games and made something that is brilliantly and beautifully its own. Prey takes place in an alternate future where JFK survived his assassination attempt and pumped a bunch of funding into the space program. Prey places you in the role of Morgan Yu, who finds him or herself on the Talos-1 space station orbiting the moon. Experiencing a convenient and classic case of amnesia, Morgan begins to realize that things are not what they seem. Talos One's research has taken some unexpected paths, and things have gone awfully awry. Armed with a trusty wrench, you set out to unravel the mysteries of Talos One and figure out where to go from there. Without spoiling too much, Prey has elements from various genres such as skill trees, backtracking, multiple paths and endings, minor platforming, and of course gunplay. The aliens, known as the Typhon, take on a variety of shapes and sizes as they attempt to horribly murder you. Luckily, you're equipped with a variety of tools and weaponry. In the search for answers, collecting materials, crafting supplies, and making full use of the environment and your skills will be necessary to avoid becoming the alien's prey. Complicating matters gameplay-wise is the fact that aiming and combat are a bit clunky. I like to consider myself a savvy player of first-person shooters, but Prey makes it feel like you're always behind the curve. Perhaps the best part of Prey is its setting, atmosphere, and level design. If I ever set foot on a space station designed in the 60s with futuristic upgrades, Talos 1 would be exactly what I would expect. The setting is spectacular, and the level design and layouts are near perfect, with only long load times breaking up the immersion. Not only is Talos 1 realistic relative to what one would expect, but the abilities available to the player allow for some intuitive movement options, such as being able to morph into a cup and maneuver through a vent, or use the glue gun to create a makeshift staircase to an elevated platform. That doesn't mean things are always smooth though, as I had a few instances where attempting to climb the glue itself became very frustrating. The key takeaway though is that Prey's level design is some of the best I've ever experienced. The combination of overall gameplay, physical level design, atmosphere, and sound make it quite extraordinary. Prey's graphics aren't groundbreaking or technically astounding, but they're more than adequate in telling the story. Atmospherically, it is literally out of this world, while the architecture of Talos 1 and the strong use of lighting really make what remains of the station feel alive. Whether in the brighter opening portion of the game or the darker setting of Talos 1, Prey offers an atmosphere that consumed me right from the beginning. Contributing to that atmosphere is Prey's outstanding soundtrack, which hits you right from the get-go. It's situation appropriate throughout and really contributes to the overall feeling of the game. Sound effects like the PA system, enemies, guns, and machines are highly effective as well. The only audio-related negative I experienced was inconsistent volume when communicating with other characters. Their dialogue was noticeably lower than the main character, though the voice acting was quite well done. Overall, Prey is a masterpiece in level design, atmosphere, and exploration. While the combat frustrated me at times, I justified it by thinking, I am just a scientist, and in that context, it didn't bother me much. Usually, having lofty expectations is a recipe for disaster. That doesn't apply here, as Prey stands tall in the genre, and is sure to be used as a benchmark many times in the future.